Okay, so today was pellet vent day, still is. Uh, I've cut a hole in the wall, see, hole. Oh, there's a nice breeze come through. Uh, so, cut the hole much larger than the pipe. Um, this pellet vent is insulated, and so it only needs an inch clearance to combustibles. But it has this collar that goes through the wall. This, there's a piece like this that mounts to the outside. Um, and then provides kind of its own combustible barrier. So I basically cut the hole bigger than this. Just, you know, set it up against the wall, draw a circle. I left plenty of room so I don't have to mess around. Um, there's no reason uh, it has to be, like, airtight, because it's going to be airtight uh, on its own. Uh, so what I did on the outside... So I cut the siding, and then I installed this J-channel. Now, I haven't nailed it, so I can show you how it works. Uh, this is what J-channel looks like. Looks like a J. Uh, this bottom piece I probably could have done fancier, but let me show you basically what I'm going to do. So, this piece here, as you can see, is notched. It's just like that at the top, too. And you can see that this top part goes over the top of this one. Yeah. And then there's this here, which which will get tucked behind the siding, like so. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, that acts as a gutter, and then water can go down here, and then flow through here. What I have... I'm talking really loudly, sorry. Uh, the only thing I'm worried about is the water's going to go down here, and then inside the siding. So I cut it out here, so that it can drip down below. I'm also going to take and put a bead of silicone right here, and just basically attach that directly to that uh, styrofoam. Same thing on the other side, there's a little gutter piece that goes around. Uh, and these I haven't nailed in, but you can see how that works. It just kind of slides in and then tucks up under there. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to silicone uh, all the way around basically, uh, and I'm going to use silicone as an adhesive to hold these here because I can't quite get in there and put a nail. So, uh, so yeah, that's how those work. That's what these look like. Uh, it takes, you know, quite a bit of adjustment with a knife. Make sure you find the dirtiest surface possible to do all your work on so that these things end up all grimy. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is get my silicone, put those in. Uh, oh, I should have showed you while I had that up there. But this will go in here like so. Four screws, and that'll suck it up tight against there. That'll keep any leaks around there. I'll probably draw a bead of silicone around here just for fun, and then screw this in so it sits in the bead of silicone. Uh, then I need to put the inside pipe on, uh, and then put all the pipe together with this, uh, you can kind of see it here, this red high temperature silicone uh, that was on when this was previously installed. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, Hopefully it works. I've never actually done this before. So. All right, so got all the pieces of J channel in there, overlapping the right way. The gutters are tucked in, and I've siliconed all the way around it. And this silicone I just happened to get with my siding, so it's the exact same color as the siding. So I can be really sloppy and really get it up in every little corner. So this, I have no worries about this leaking. Um, that wasn't a great sentence, but you get the idea. I don't have any worries about this leaking, is what I'm trying to say. So be so picky. So now I'm going to put this metal thing in. Should just slip in. Just like that. Oh, look at that. Unreal. Just like this guy knew what he was doing. But he doesn't. So, yeah, that uh, put some screws in that, and then I'll keep cooking on the inside. And then, oh, this is what the the vent like. This will go on the outside eventually. And I could tuck it in that tight, but I think I might bring it out a little bit. There's nothing in the pallet manual about that LB being anywhere near this thing. God, look at the job my electrician did. Beauty, huh? Didn't have a hole saw that day, so a sawzall was good enough. Oh man, that sucks. Anyway, so, uh, cooking right along. By the way, this is why I don't hire people. This is why I do all my own work. Okay. Okay, so that was simple. 
put the metal thing in, put in screws. And I took a couple more seconds to find screws that are used outdoors. These are outdoor deck screws, which means that when it does rain and la 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 la, those aren't gonna bleed rust down this thing. <sighs> I guess that's what you're supposed to do. Anyway, now I need to mount this collar on the plywood that's not here, which means it's time to get the plywood here. So in order to put plywood here, I need to insulate. So I grabbed a couple bags of insulation and I'm gonna insulate. So put in some insulation in that cavity, probably this one next to it, maybe this one too, and then get some plywood up here and then cut holes in it or cut a hole in it and uh, put on that collar. So, what I'm do next. Hey, so when you have to cut your plywood on the other side, set it up temporarily and then draw a line in here. Then take it back down, then cut it. It's fun. 